Scientists at UCSD are taking a deeper look on how long haul COVID impacts the brain. ABC 10 News reporter Ryan Hill spoke with the lead researcher on what they found and how this could be used in future treatment. COVID long haulers deal with plenty of symptoms and questions. One of those people looking for answers is Jessica Blake. I got uh, myoclonus with it. So those are like the muscle jerking, the involuntary, like shock, like muscle spasms. So that has been difficult to deal with. Blake is one of more than 50 participants who took part in a study by Dr. Jennifer Graves and other researchers at UCSD. I really wanted to participate in the study, give back to the community and help other patients that had the neurological issues that I had. The data is looking into the impacts of neurological long hauler symptoms and it's finding out they're sticking around for some longer than they'd like. And encouragingly, while most patients saw some improvement in their symptom scores over the six months, two thirds of individuals still had persistent neurologic complications of COVID. Graves says the symptoms went from headaches and fatigue to more concentration and memory issues. So 10% of individuals had stable cognitive complaints or a few even got worse over time. The hope with this data is the medical community has this as another tool to help those who contract the virus. The other is that we can begin to decide how we can prevent this by quantifying and seeing how the symptoms evolve over time, we can decide if we need to intervene, if this is an immune driven phenomenon, which we suspect. As the study of the impact of long haul COVID continues, Blake is glad there's data for others to lean on going forward. I think that anyone that can participate in studies like this so that the researchers are able to collect the data in order to find out the underlying cause. Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News. The FDA authorized the first COVID-19 shot for children under the age